Chairman and CEO of Automobili Lamborghini, Stefan Winkelmann. Buongiorno, buongiorno signore e signori, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lamborghini. You know, Lamborghini has never been only a mid-rear engine super sports car company. In the beginning, in the 60s, there were first of all GT cars, and then 2 plus 2s, and in the 80s, then there was the first luxury SUV, the LM002. We have six on, of them here on my left hand side. And uh, when we launched uh, the Urus, we proved that an SUV could have the DNA of a super sports car. So the car is very successful. A lot of other manufacturers are entering into this segment. But uh, as proud as I am of the team, uh, of their achievements, as Lamborghini, we always look forward. So now I would invite Ruben Moore and uh, Mitya Borka. Ruben Moore is our chief technical officer and uh, Mitya Borka is our designer to unveil the Lamborghini Urus uh, Performante. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Lamborghini Urus Performante is lower is wider, is lighter, and better performing than the Urus before. Thanks to the steel springs, the Urus is 20 millimeters lower, it's 16 millimeters larger. It's uh, better in terms of handling because the center of gravity is lower. And uh, the car is lighter by 47 kilos, also thanks to additional use of carbon fiber, like the one we have here, where you see a visible carbon fiber front, uh, engine bonnet, which you can also have without the visible carbon fiber. And this, so the, the reduction of weight of the 47 kilos linked to additional horsepower, 666, is leading to an incredible uh, weight to power ratio of just 3.2 kilos per horsepower. But this is not ending here because we call it uh, design follows performance, where we reduce the drag, we increase the downforce uh, of this car, thanks to a new uh, front bumper where you have the, let's say, the air which is going more around the car. We have air outlets on the bonnet, and we also have uh, an important, a more important spoiler in the back, which is increasing, as I said, the downforce, especially in the back of the car, almost up to 40%. So very good in terms of driving behavior. And then we worked a lot also and improved the agility of the car. So on one hand side, we have the rear seat wheeling and uh, the turning and uh, we have on top of that, the torque vectoring. And this in terms of agility and responsiveness is incredible. And all of this together, we wanted to prove somewhere. So we went to the Pike Peak, so the famous uh, um, hill climbing uh, parkour and we outbeat the record which was there before by 17 seconds and this is really something and it's uh, very important for the car because we always want to prove that performance is very important for us so also if this is this car is very much about uh, performance it's much more than the sum of its numbers so it's about easy to drive, it's about the readiness, it's about fun to drive. This car is really something exceptional. And we are expecting great things about this car. And uh, if we speak about the year 2022, this will be the last year where we are going to produce um, internal combustion engines only. We launched earlier this year the, the Huracan Technica. Today is the launch of the Urus Performante and we will have other surprises later this year. And then there is the big step for Automobile Lamborghini because in the years 23 and 24, we are going to hybridize all of our lineup. So the year 23 especially is very important because it will be the first time we car. It will be the follow of the Aventador, which will have a, a brand new B12 cylinder engine. And on top of that, it will be a plug-in hybrid. But 
the brand or the, the company or the year 23 is very important for us because this is also or will be the celebration of our 60th anniversary. So we have a second unveiling here today, which I will do right now. And uh, here we have the, the logo and the claim of the 60th anniversary. So you see that the, the logo is uh, remembering a bit, you know, the bulls like uh, we have in our logo. And the claim, the future began in 1963, is uh, uh, the matter of fact that we as Lamborghini, we always look forward, we always look into the future. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being here and Forza Lamborghini. Grazie.